Hey guys, I'm Milad. I'm a social video maker and a street documentary in field of social issues. Today I prepared a new video for you about poor people, street prostitutes, street hookers, street girls who are looking for a new customer and blah 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 in the street. Hope to solve this social problem and hope enjoy this video and a street documentary about street happens and social problem. Thank you so much. Have a fun.
Well, 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 hope enjoyed the video till this moment. In the United States, prostitution was originally widely legal. Prostitution was made illegal in almost all states between 1910 and 1915 to the influence of the once wave feminist women's Christian temperance union, which was influential in the banning of drug use and was a major force in the prohibition of alcohol. In 1970, the prostitution district Surreyville in New Orleans was closed down by federal government over local objection. In that booth, South Dakota prostitution was technically illegal, was tolerated by local residents and officials for decades until the last madam was brought down by state and federal authorities for a tax eviction. Prostitution remained legal in Alaska until 1953 and is still legal in some rural countries of Nevada, including areas outside of Las Vegas. Beginning the late 1980s, many states increased the penalties for prostitution in case where the prostitute is HIV positive. These laws, often known as the felony prostitution laws, require anyone arrested for prostitution to be tested for HIV. If the test comes back positive, the suspect is informed that any future arrest for prostitution will be a felony instead of miss the manner. This episode contributed to HIV or AIDS awareness. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye bye.